Hi, I'm Jonathan Pickup. I've been teaching VectorWorks for a long time, and one of the manuals I wrote was the introduction to kitchen design. VectorWorks have now updated their cabinet tool, which makes it really useful. So it's time for me to update my manual on kitchen design, and I'll be running webinars later on this year on how to use this tool. In the meantime, I wanted to give you access to my What's New in VectorWorks 2024, where I went through the cabinet object. So I spent a lot of time so I introduced the concept of the cabinet, how it's changed, how we use styles. And so this is just a snippet of the workshop that I ran on what was new in 2024. Look out for later on in the year, there'll be a, a workshop specifically on kitchen design with this new cabinet tool. We'll be looking at all the detail, how to create the handles, how to create the coverings, how to assign materials. There's a lot in it. So hope you enjoy this little short movie. It's just a short snippet of what we cover every month. This is the new cabinet tool. So the new cabinet tool, there it is there, there's my cabinet. So that's the new cabinet tool, and the cabinet tool has a whole lot of new settings. So I don't know if anyone remembers what the cabinet used to be like. There was a single dialog box or a single um, object info palette type thing, and we'd had very, very little choice over how we made it. We've now got control over this, the cabinet box, the frames and reveals, the door, um, the drawer, mm. what hardware we put on it, the finish options we put on, and the finish options are the panels on the ends of the, so you can have left and right panels. Um, so I'm going to, uh, plus visualization, what we want to show, what data we want to add, um, and what classes and materials we want to add, add to each piece. So we can go doors and drawers, let's use a material. Um, have I got a timber? There's a cedar, I think. Where's cedar? Wood cedar. Let's put cedar on the doors, and the texture is by the material. We go OK. I've now got cedar on the doors, which is quite nice. So we yep. used to use classes to control this, but now we're using styles. And I should have in here, um, I don't think I've got cabinet styles as a separate object, but I think I did create cabinet styles. So if I grab my base cabinet and drop it on there, did it update? No. So it didn't update onto that object. I need to make sure it highlights when I drag and drop it. Let's do it. Plus you can, you can make every kind of cabinet with one tool now. You can, one yes. That's the other thing is that, is that the cabinets have changed. So Oh, that's not it's not updating so let's import the entire group and let's pull that across so we were in cabinet styles so I can make that one a tall cabinet well, it's not it's not it's that not should die me. yeah it's not doing it so let's go replace uh, and we're going to go into building so this is my tall cabinet and then I can make another copy of that. This one here, I'm going to replace that with my base cabinet with two doors and then make a copy of that. And make another copy here of that object. And then I'm going to replace that one. And I created some wall units as well. So I created one with, with a wall unit on my... My dragger copy's not working. Uh, let's go back to that one, send that to the back. So now what I can do is I can look at these. At the moment, they're all double doors. So I can select this one. This one, I can then replace that one with a base cabinet with three drawers. And yeah. this one, a base cabinet with two drawers. Uh, what have I got? Four drawers. Nice. And, and not only that, but I've got different handles on these as well. So this is a full width handle. This is just a generic pull handle. Um, and so it's if you create these as part of your library, I think, Tali, it's going to make it really quick to create all the all the objects that you want. Uh, and the idea is that they're style, so you can set them up, put them in your library. And what did you say, Richard, that you can make all the cabinets you need with just um, one tool it's now? Just one tool. Yeah. Uh, so four drawers, 
So it's a big improvement. This this new tool is a big improvement. And I think creating the styles works really well. This is what I was planning for my kitchen at home. And you can you can create and don't forget that because they're using styles, we can then duplicate this as a as a separate style. Uh, wall cabinet sense. Sand stores. Okay. okay, so then I can edit this plugin style or I can edit the cabinet. And what I'm going to do is, uh, so this is a this is a new area here where you, you actually say, I want to add, I want to add extra doors or I want to add extra drawers or I want this to be an opening. And you can, uh, some of these, you can add extra parts to them. So this opening here, uh, I've got one shelf, now I want two shelves in there. And then I can swap that style. Uh, let's replace with my sans doors. And then I end up with that. Hey, I hope you like that movie. If you'd like to see the entire What's New in VectorX 2024, become a member on my website, become a member on my YouTube channel, and start getting access to these workshops every month. There's five workshops every month that you can get access to just by being the member. Thanks for watching. See you soon.